Okay, this is the second video about the rotation in the transformation chapter. Okay, because of last video, I think a lot of stu students still very confused about actually how to do uh, the rotation. So in this video, I will use another methods to do the rotation. However, I, uh, one thing I have to mention here is Okay, this is not really the formal methods to do rotation. However, this method actually can help you to draw out or calculate out which coordinate actually is the rotation and how to find the rotation point. So I will cover everything about rotation in this chapter. So I really hope this video can give you more insight on how to do the rotation. Alright, so first, the second method which I mentioned here is using translation methods to do the rotation. Okay, maybe you will feel a bit confused. Okay, let me explain. Okay, I believe most of the students know about what is translation. Okay, let's say, let's say I have two negative three. If this one is the translation, I think a lot of students will miss. Okay, two on the top. This one means moving on the. Uh, okay. I love to say like moving on the x-axis and moving on the y-axis. Okay, let's say this is the coordinate A. After trans, uh, after the translation two negative three, we know two actually moving, uh, moving two units to one unit, two unit to the right, and then moving negative three means moving three unit to the bottom. So one, two, three. Okay, this is just an example. Okay, so that means you know two actually is moving this direction for two units. Negative three means moving downward for three units. Okay, same thing if you got negative two means actually move to the left for two units. You got positive three means actually moving to the top three units. All right, translation I think is quite simple. Okay, however, how translation actually relates to the rotation okay this one if you go further about transformation you will learn something like base factor but then okay because this is SPM video so I'm not going to cover that all right so so this is how to do the uh, the, the rotation using the translation methods for example if okay I need to put it in two conditions okay this one is rotation Uh, 90 degree clockwise clockwise this one is the same this but then this one is anti clockwise rotation 90 degree anti clockwise okay let's see your translation from center point is A and B this is translation from center point. Huh? Okay, this is a translation from center point. Later, I'm going to demo this one, of course. Okay, when you go to the rotation 90 degree, what I want you to do is, you change AB to BA. And then, okay, because rotation, and okay, this one actually is this direction. So you add, you add a negative to the bottom. A, you, you have to add a negative to the A. Alright, same thing if you rotation anti clockwise, what you need to do the translation. This one also is from the center point. Later, I'm going to teach you. For anti clockwise, will be same. AB, you change to BA. But then you add the negative to the top. This one is anti clockwise. Okay. Okay, now you're going to see what is this meaning. So you roughly got the idea, right? If you rotate this direction, you add a negative on the bottom. If you rotate anti clockwise, you add a negative on the top. Both also the translation you have to actually, if this is 4, 3, you're going to become 3, 4. Right? Like this one, if this is 2, negative 3, after rotation, 2, negative 3 will become negative 3, 2. And then bottom have have to add a negative, negative three, negative two. Right. See what happens over here. Okay. So in order to explain this, I have to zoom in to make you see better. Okay. Have a look here. For example, 
Okay, this is my coordinate. I'm going to call it A. Okay, I randomly put a center point over here. Okay, I call it P. Okay, P is the center point. All right, can you see it? Okay, now, first, I have to find out the translation first. The translation from center point to point A. So I'm going to calculate. Okay, now I'm moving to the right, right? Because translation, for translation like x, y, if the translation like x, y, you have to write x first, then you write y. So over here, I have to understand this one is 1, 2, so my x will be 2, until I, I will be 90 degrees to the A, so it will be 2, then I move up 1, 2, 3, so go up is positive, so basically it's something like 1, 2, so it's 2 for the x, and then I move like 1, 2, 3, so it will be 3 on the y. Right, it's simple, right? Okay, let's say now I rotate. Okay, I rotate my A uh, 90 degrees clockwise. Okay, 90 degrees clockwise means I have to rotate my A to this direction. All right, so over here you can see if rotate 90 degrees clockwise, this is the format. Okay, just now. The translation we write down is 2, 3, right? So if I put the 2 and 3 inside here, what I get is 2, 3, I have to flip over, become 3, 2. And then bottom, I have to add a negative for it. So it will be negative 2. So this is the new translation of, uh, for the rotation. 3, negative 2. So you're going to see what happened in the graph paper. Center point, right? 3, negative 2 mean actually I have to move this direction 1, 2, 3 negative 2 will be going downward 1, 2 so this is my image of A after rotation so basically if you use ruler to connect them you can see the picture clearly of course this is the first Time, so I going to draw all this so you just to make understand. However, you can see actually this one is ninety degree. Okay, if you understand about this one, okay, let's try. Okay, just now we say the translation for this one actually is like two three right. Okay, now I rotate anti clockwise ninety degree. Okay, now I rotate anti-clockwise 90 degree. So anti-clockwise, I say both actually have to flip over, become 3, 2, alright? And then I will add the negative to the top. I will add the negative to the top. So you actually can see, for anti-clockwise, flip over, negative on the top. Alright, so it will become what? Become negative 3, 2. Negative 3, 2, so from the center point, I calculate negative 3 will be 1, 2, 3 and then go up 1, 2 so this one is my new image of A after rotation 90 degree anti clockwise alright so I hope actually these methods can will be more easy rather than the last video draw the box one because a lot of students still cannot understand how actually draw box alright so let's just try a few more Okay, let's say this one will be B. Okay, now this is the center point P. Again, okay, okay, so now okay, let's try the first one 90 degree clockwise. So 90 degree clockwise will be going this direction. So let me find out the translation first. It will be 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this one actually is 2, 4. Alright, so and so now clockwise, clockwise will become so this one is for clockwise, huh? clockwise, 90 degree. Okay, I write the short form for it. Right, so will be 4, 2, and clockwise you put a negative on the bottom. 
Alright, so it will be 4, negative 2. From the center point, 1, 2, 3, 4. Point negative 2, go downward. 1, 2. This one will be the image B. So you, if you can try to use the ruler to connect it, you can always see this is 90 degree. Do you see? 90 degree, and then I say rotation must be same distance. They are same distance. Alright, so if let's say, now I want to rotate anti-clockwise. This one stands for anti-clockwise 90 degree. Alright, so same is 4, 2. However, negative I write on the top. Negative 4, 2. So negative 4, 2 from the center point. Negative 4 means moving to the left hand side. 4 units. 1, 2, 3, 4. 2 is moving down upwards. 1, 2. So this one will be new image of B, which is anti-clockwise, 90 degree. This one go this direction, this one go this direction. Alright, I hope this method can give you some insight about the, the rotation. Okay, however, before I end the video, how about 180 degrees? Because some students might actually ask. Okay, let me, okay, let's see some example. Okay, let's say this one. Okay, and then this one is here will be the center point. P, this one I call it C. Okay, for this one for 180, 180 what I want you to memorize is, the format actually is something like this. Okay, for 180, for 180 is something like, okay, so let's say this one is A, B, if you rotation, 180 degree you had have to add the negative for both become negative a negative b so if the translation is 2 4 will become negative 2 negative 4 all right this one is for rotation okay so now let's see the translation for this one from center point you do from c go to center point then you will got the different translation must from center point start so we saw center point go to C is negative one, okay, negative two, and then one, two, three, four. So the translation here is negative two, negative four, because it moved downward. So in order to get, how about C rotate 180 degree? I say add a negative for both. So this one is uh, rotate 180, you will got two, four. That means from center point, I move one, two, one, two, three, four. This one will be my image C. And then I can, actually I can use ruler to connect them. They are the straight line. Yes, so you will see actually I form 180 degree on the middle. All right, this is how to do rotation 180 degree. So actually it's quite simple. You, you can see if this is your translation from the center point, eh? So your clockwise, you just you just flip over, 2, 4, become 4, 2, and then put a negative on the bottom, 90 degree. If anti-clockwise 90 degree, you flip over 4, 2, but then add a negative on the top. Okay, this is, this is the way of using the translation to do the rotation. Okay, because my, my, battery, uh, my video camera actually run out of battery, so I'm going to record one more video yeah, to teach you how to rotate uh, in triangle and also to teach you how to find the center point using the uh, compass. Alright, anyways, thanks for watching this video. Hope you can learn some things about rotation.